difficult videos and you realize that he is a person who has always spoken the right kind of English. If you speak to Lalu Prasad Yadav, he is a person who speaks meticulous English by the way. But when he talks to an audience which cannot understand, they know how to move with the audience. I am not saying you don't know, you shouldn't know how to learn Telugu or speak Telugu or Hindi. But knowing what to speak when is important. If you for instance are working in an MNC like I am and my head office is in New York, I cannot go there speaking with an MTI which is clearly Telugu. They will not accept me. So you need to be absolutely able to flex with an audience. Right? You cannot have your own mindset and say only this is going to work and this is me and people accept me. If you are a person like let's say, um, who is the painter who passed away in Qatar? M.F. Hussain. Hussain. If you are M.F. Hussain, it's okay for you to go barefoot in Willingdon uh, Club. But you and I, in our normal life, we cannot go there before we achieve self-actualization. So I need to achieve that fifth level of master's hierarchy before I can actually do what I want to do without caring what other people think of me. For any people, or anybody who is starting out, the third level, social need, is equally important. To be accepted, you have to learn good English. I'm sorry, but I know that there are people who are extremely good who I haven't taken into my company only because they fall in the language. So it makes a difference. See, maybe 10 years ago, uh, found it easier to break into the market than an MNC today. It's not 10 years, but let me say 30 years ago, an MNC then. 10 years ago, of course, we had the prices. But um, just as that is the case, earlier, in my days, we never had goals. Right? Goals happened along the way. Today, if you want to differentiate yourself from the rest, you need to position yourself on one particular characteristic. What is your core competence? What is it? I saw a resume recently which I really loved, you know. And uh, in fact, that's the only reason, the style of writing of the resume is the only reason I picked up the phone personally to speak to that person. And it was what I am and what I can do for you. And each of his characteristics and each of his qualifications he converted for benefit for the company. Beautifully made, you know. We are looking for people who are different from others but not different by writing on pink colored paper. Be different in a useful sort of way. And for that you have to know the core objectives of yours. You need to meld your personal aspirations for your life with that of the company that you are joining. I, mean, I will not be sure. When I say I, I am saying recruiters will not be sure that you are going to add value to my company or are you going to leave it within one month because we are not matching what you expect of us. So I need to know that. But we also know when a person has just been helped by Nokri.com to make a resume because everybody wants to make a difference and add value to the company, to the organization that they are a part of. Rhetoric is there in everybody's resume. We know when I joined my first job, I was very young, I told you, right? I had two uh, double promotions. So I was, I think, 14 when I finished school. And I think I was uh, 17 and a half when I wrote my cat. And at 18, I went into the IIT. I was very young, I was the youngest in my entire batch. And I realized that all the others were from IITs, I was not from an I was not an engineer. But they were from the IITs and they were able to reposition themselves because they had work experience before they did their management program. So they were in different groups for the case studies, they were at a different level when placements came. All that happened, right? When I was called, I was the first one to get free offers before they did. And the difference was, because my positioning was, since I am a fresher, I am a blank slate for you. I come with the knowledge of concepts, but you don't need to make me unlearn an experience. Because Charles F. Kettering, the American inventor said, I would rather have somebody who does not know what to do, than have somebody who tells me that he knows and it cannot be done. Right? So for, a, for a person like me, a company like, well we don't take MBA fresher, but I'm saying generally, if I was recruiting, I would prefer a fresher any day because my cost to the company is also lower. And I can mold him in the way in which I need. 